Hello and welcome to this video on four steps to normal blood sugar levels. This video's purpose is to give you the top four steps that the main article written by Lisa Bishop has given for lowering your blood sugar levels. It also serves as a point of decision so that once you see what these top points are if you decide that you want to get further details you can just drop down to the description area and click on the link and go over and read the entire article and glean all of the insights that Miss Bishop has provided. In the article the first step is to slowly lower your carb intake. The key word here is slowly. You don't want your body to go into withdrawal for carbs by abruptly changing your diet to remove carbs. You want to slowly lower your carb intake as to wean yourself off of so many carbs so that your body doesn't go into a mode of trying to um, bounce back from it. It's somewhat like a sine wave where if you go low too fast that it'll bounce and go high instead of being stable. So you want to slowly lower your carb intake. The second step that Miss Bishop brought out was to test your blood sugar more frequently. There is a wise saying that says you can't manage what you don't measure. And it goes for managing your blood sugar levels so that you can attain normal blood sugar levels throughout the day. You have to measure your blood sugar and you have to have points by which you can see trends and make management decisions regarding your insulin and your food intake and your activity so that you can reach those points of normal blood sugar level that you wish to meet. And the next step that she brought out is to pay attention to the how and when of your insulin. It is important to see how your insulin works at different times during the day. And so you can figure out whether or not at this point in the day do you need to take less insulin because your body is receiving more of it and processing it or do you need to take less does the same amount at this time of the day cause your blood sugar to drop considerably where it doesn't at another time of the day and she brings in some other very interesting points about insulin that I never thought of in the history of my family and insulin usage we've always looked at Lantus and maybe Novolog. Novolog is the fast acting and Lantus as the long acting all day insulin. But she brings out some points about different insulins that I had not thought about and so it would probably do you real good just to take a look at that and see if you've ever even thought about treating your insulin the way that she's brought out. And the fourth step she gave was to stop snacking. I believe what she means by stop snacking is to stop having so many empty carb or empty um, calorie kind of foods. Stop having so much junk food within the three main meals. She points out that you really should focus on three meals a day. But what I have found in my family is that snacking when you use healthy snacks are not a bad thing. They actually aid in keeping and maintaining normal blood sugar levels. By adding snacks in between the big three, you can also maintain a better blood sugar level. And so at this point, if you would go down, if you're interested in more information about that article, you can go down to the description and there's a link for uh, normalbloodsugar.org Click on that link and it will take you over to the full article so that you can read it and get all of the insights that Miss Bishop has provided. And thank you for watching.